So for this one, I want to revolve around the line y equals negative 2. So um, if I extend my y-axis down to here a little bit, then this would be y equals negative 2, which would give me this thing rolled around like this, which would look something like that. They're going to connect like this on the inside, this on the outside, and this guy here. Um, hmm, kind of messy. Anyway, uh, so this kind of shows a little bit of why it would be complicated to do this with um, with doing a dx here because we would run into all kinds of problems. So um, same as with part A, I'm going to stick with dy, um, which means that I get v equals, equals all right, so actually before I do it, um, hold it. Hold your pencil up in the air. Do hold it the direction the way that it would this thing would be revol or that this thing would look like with the axis of symmetry with this thing being your pencil. And uh, imagine slicing off y. So you should see that we're going to slice, 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 right? And those are going to give me not washers. So we're in shell method. So you get two pi. Integral r h d x d whoop undo d y. So now I need to just figure out my radius and my height. So what I'm gonna do is sketch in here. We'll do I'm gonna do the upper part. I'll do this thing right here. So I've got that guy, which means that that piece is gonna go with this one. They're going to connect like this to give me a cylinder. I'm just taking the outer surface area of that cylinder. So um, my radius is, I'm going to top minus bottom, see I'm stuck in black, which is going to be this length, this length down to here, right? So if I do top minus bottom, R equals top minus bottom. My top is actually the x value, correct? Yeah. No, sorry, the top is actually the y value of this thing right here, right? So if it was with, with it right here, it's the y value of this guy. If it was up here, it would be the y value up there. If it was over to here, it would be the y value. So for example, right here, I would have a radius of 2 because that thing's 2 down below. So, again, it's y minus negative 2 because this is y equals negative 2. So I do the y value minus the lower part, the bottom, which is that negative 2, which winds up giving me just uh, y plus 2. So that's my radius. Now i got to do the height. So we'll do that in, I guess we'll do it in black too. So the height is going to be this length right here. The height, think about it, it's the height of the, of the cylinder. So the cylinder is on its side, and we typically think of the height of a cylinder as being this length on it. So that's why it's, at it's height, but it's sideways, which is kind of confusing. So anyway, so this is my height, which is the x value of that parabola-y looking thing. So my height is the x value, right? But remember, I'm working in dy, so I want to have these two things in terms of y. So I use this relation right here, that x is equal to 1 minus y the fourth for this parab parabola-y looking thing. So I get a height equal to 1 minus y to the fourth. So I'm going to take this guy and this guy and plug them in for r and h. I get 2 pi integral. Radius is y plus 2. Uh, height is ba -doop, ba -doop, ba -doop, 1 minus y to the fourth. Now I gotta fill in my bounds. So uh, dy, I'm starting here, I'm going down to here. Um, or I could even think start, I could do it the other way, I think, but I'm gonna start here, I'm gonna go up to here. So I'm gonna start at negative 1 and go to positive 1.